you know, demons live in wounds. They are attracted to wounds. And in order for them to be able to cling to us, they need to be let in. In other words, a door, an action has to be done that that action is the doorway by which they enter into our lives. Uh, so, so demons uh, do not need a doorway to perform what the church calls the ordinary demonic activity, which is temptation. And even our Lord was subject to temptation. No human being is not subject to temptation. Uh, and so that, um, that, that's their ordinary activity. And to be honest, that, that is the most deadly. Because it's only through sin, mortal sin, what Catholics call mortal sin, a sin so grave that it evicts the Holy Spirit from inside us. It evicts sacramental grace from being present within us. So any of the violation of the Ten Commandments, for example, in, uh, in, you know, in a serious manner. So one of the commandments is thou shall not lie. Uh, if, 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 if you tell what, what people call a little white lie, your, your wife asks you, does this dress make me look fat? And, and inside your mind, you're thinking, oh, heavens, yes. <laughs> but you say, no, I, it's a white lie. It, it, it's that doesn't destroy grace. All all lying is is sinful. It it just it damages our relationship with God. But only mortal sin destroys that sacramental life giving connection that we have with God.